Giddy up. Stage two of our little plan. Scamming the scammer. Out of my theater, now. Only a couple of things stolen so far. The digital video card thingies. <laughs> to me that you no longer choose to stand by it. The cards were stolen. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, credit me with some intelligence. It's completely obvious that Chris has them. I very much doubt that. I'm obliged to put a show to air next week, and with the footage that I currently have, I can't do that. I need the material from the operating theatre. I wish I could help, but I can't. Why are you so insistent on protecting him? He knew the risks involved in having a camera crew around. He chose to have a tanty. He chose to open his big mouth. He's got nobody to blame but himself. You know what I think? Illuminate me. I think you wouldn't be nearly as hard on Chris if you hadn't been involved with him. Excuse me? You dumped him. Isn't that satisfying enough without throwing him to the dogs? I didn't dump him. He ended things with me. Oh. Get me the memory cards by the end of today or I will be making calls. To who? This is theft. A criminal matter. So I'll be calling the police, of course. I'll just get them to liaise with you, shall I? You're going to hate me. Why is that? Because I found my dream home. Unfortunately, this means no more Gigi. I know I should have told you sooner. It all happened so quickly. A uh, house? It's funny how my father's voice kept knocking around my brain. Oh, you can't go wrong investing in property. Until the market turns, but hey, if your heart's set on it. It is. Look, five bedrooms, three bathrooms. 1.5 mil? It used to be 1.8, but they're desperate to sell. And I'm in love with no time to waste. Today is D-Day. Hiya, all ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. This is Linda, my real estate agent. Let's go buy a house. Have you seen what she's paying for that place? Oh, I don't know, sounds like a bargain to me. <laughs> Should be 500,000 dead. Yeah, but you heard her, she's in love. She's even rabbiting onto Jackie about having drinkies around the pool. And just for the record, you're not the only one who hates to see a tidy profit go to waste. Us being partners now. So make yourself useful. Talk her out of the house. Tell her to look at something smaller. Buy her butterfly kisses. And with the money she saves, she'll get an income too. Yeah, all very sound advice. But in case you haven't noticed, Jane and I aren't exactly on speaking terms. Look upon it as a challenge. Christchurch? It's where her other sister lives. Anita will... Move there, get a job, and they'll be able to support each other. She's dreaming. The intensivist at Christchurch Hospital has to accept the patient first. They won't. Why not? Ben has no discernible brain function. Ben's not going anywhere, Mum. At some point, they will turn off his life support. But they have to. And Anita will have to accept this. But I won't be there. She won't want me. I don't have any rights where Ben is concerned, so there's no point in even talking about it. I'm tired, that's all. If Ursula doesn't get her memory cards back, she's going to the cops. And I'm not a very good liar around cops. Give them back then, so they turned up and lost property. But we were going to do some editing first. Oh, the thief can do that by herself. By the way, I think it's best if I deal with Ursula from now on. She told me you dumped her and not the other way around. See, you're not a very good liar either, are you? Henry, um, why don't you return my calls? Hey, I've been meaning to get back to you. To tell me that you paid the rent? Oh, my account is stuffed up. There was a misunderstanding. Okay. Let's just keep things friendly, all right, for Maxwell's sake. Did you get hold of Jane? Yep, but alas, it would seem too late. Her offer's already been accepted. <sighs> Goodbye, butterfly kisses. It is, however, a conditional offer. On what? Oh, the usual finance limb. 
builder's report? I've got a mate in the trade. Customised reports are his speciality. He tell her the house was no good? Oh, this morning, if the money's right. I've already given her his number. Loving your work, bro. There's a tiny area of infected tissue. Well, I thought Chris did. Chris didn't see this. Is that a problem? Shouldn't be. I just need to make sure we get it all out. Any remaining infection could cause peritonitis. Not good. Scalpel, on the track. Should I call Chris? you knock? Sorry? I could have been doing anything. Please don't tell me you have a bottle of whiskey lurking underneath that desk somewhere. No, of course I don't. I shut the door. It's the footage from the TV show. Oh, cool. So they found the cards then. Oh. You know nothing, you see nothing. Yes, boss. Well, as her doctor, you don't have my permission. She's been through hours of surgery. She needs time and privacy to recover. You shut that thing off. And I refuse to allow the use of the footage you shot in theatre. Oh. You cannot let that go to air. Oh, really? You think? I went to India last year. You would have laughed your head off all those crazy patched together cars and bikes. And you wouldn't believe the food. Taking him to Christchurch. If you're here to hassle me, I'm not interested. I have support there. It's where I'm going to live. You know, the intensivist there won't accept him. I can ask. Beg if I have to. You don't need to move him, Anita. You have plenty this of... This is my brother, OK? My family. I don't know you people. I never even heard that he was in a relationship with your mother. Well, maybe he was worried you'd judge him. It was hard for me to get my head around, too. But Mum and Ben, they're soulmates. And she should be a part of this. Why is it so hard for you to understand that I just want to get him better? Because it's not going to happen. You've seen the scans. There is no brain activity. That hand movement was... It was just a one-off. Can you leave, please? Don't keep him hanging on like this. It's cruel. Cruel to Ben, and especially cruel to Mum. And having conversations about taking him away only makes things ten times worse. Well, get back to me when it's your sister lying there and see how black and white it is then. Go away. Anita, I'm... Just leave me! 